Worst case scenario is, is you get convicted, but that doesn't mean Jack's work is done because he can still file for an appeal and you can get another trial. And in the meantime... In the meantime, I could go to death row, Ryan. And then there will be Annie surrounded by Adam and all of his bodyguards and she'll be sitting pretty in a cushy mansion. Not going to happen. Why not? The case will be closed. It's not like Jesse will keep looking for the real killer. No, he won't, but, but I will. And so will Zach and so will Erica. Okay, we are not going to give up and neither should you. The trial hasn't even started yet. Yeah, well, I can tell you how it's going to end. Hey, what's going on? I mean, since when do you give up a fight? This is not a fight. This is an ambush. Hey, so what? You are innocent, okay? So start acting like you're innocent. A jury sees you like this, you might as well just admit that you're guilty. I am guilty. I mean, not, not of murder. My God, Ryan, look at what I did. I, I, I turned my back on, on my family, my husband, my, my boys. I got so caught up with, with us. Yeah, well, you weren't alone in that. It wasn't fair. Not to them and, and definitely not to you. Hey, Kendall. Kendall. I don't blame you. Of course you don't. Thank you, Ryan. Oh, thank you for everything. Kendall. Hey. Where's Ken? I have no idea. Who was Erica said she was here with you. She was here with me. She left. You let her leave? What did you want me to do? Chain her to the couch? Yeah, maybe. Anything, but don't get involved in your Annie mess. Oh, you're right. I am a complete bastard for trying to give the woman some hope. I take it you haven't found DA's Achilles heel? No, I'm working on it. What if we can't do it, Zach? What if we can't save her? We won't. Let me know if you hear something. What are you going to do? I'm going to find Kendall before it's too late. Out of all the witnesses I've questioned up here, not one of them has corroborated your story. Not your ex-lover, not your mother, not your good friend Tad Martin. Because none of them were with me when Stuart was shot. If any of them had been, they would tell you that I didn't do it. And yet you've admitted outright to wanting to. Yes, I wanted Adam dead. For my son, for Zach, for all of us. But when the moment came, I froze. I did not pull that trigger, no matter how badly you wish I did. The prosecution rests. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Um, Rachel, do you mind, actually, if I have a second alone with the boys? Of course. That'd be great. Here, you know what? I'm gonna sit right here and take this one. <laughs> and I'll take this one, number one. Yes. Keep the box. And number two. Thank you. Sure. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Ah. Hey, I bet you're wondering why Mama has that sappy look on her face, right? Well. It's because I have something very important to tell you. I do. That's no way. I know. <laughs> oh, don't lay a hand on me. You'll be sorry. Somehow I don't see you as proficient in martial arts. No, but I speak lawsuit very well. Oh, oh, how cozy. 
What are you doing back here? That blasted alarm didn't occur to anyone to turn the damn thing off? You have the code, sir. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry if I woke you. Oh, that's okay. We weren't sleeping. Adam was just showing me how beautiful the grounds look at night. From his bedroom. Yes, yes. I, I'm sure it's very difficult for him to um, come up with uh, ways to entertain you because you are so limited. I mean, you obviously cannot leave the house with that ankle bracelet. That's sweet of you to worry, but we managed just fine. Has Adam ever shared with you his reserve label brandy? <laughs> oh, duh. What am I saying? You're an alcoholic. Sorry. <laughs> no offense taken. Anyway, the warmth of the drink and the glow of the moon. Have you seen it tonight? God, it just, it really made for an incredible evening. I didn't come here to discuss the moon. But I bet you knew that, didn't you? Kendall. Oh, there you are. Hey, Rachel. Hey, I just put the boys down. Okay, where's Kendall? I don't know. She was here with Spike and Ian, but then she... But then she... what? She disappeared. Hey, it's Kendall. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Damn it, Kendall, where are you? Where the hell are you? Look at you. So coy in your silk robe. Fawning all over Adam and standing on the exact room where Stuart drew his last breath. You are disgusting. It was horrible what happened to Stuart. Made all the worse by this horrible charade that you are trying to get away with. Well, you may fool Adam, but you won't be so lucky with me. So you can sound the alarms and you can hide behind Adam's hired muscle. I will get past them all and I will come at you when you least expect it. I will come at you with everything I've got until you have no choice but to tell the truth that my daughter Kendall did not kill Stuart. You did. No more. Do you understand me? No more. 